Hello everybody, this is Excalibur of Excalibur Zone Gaming, and welcome to another indie game Let's Play and Review. The game now is Poker Kingdoms by Moosebot, a.k.a. Um, Sam and Moose. This is a, a game that I was uh, given access to since I did not have the appropriate hardware for the other version. So, I'm going to go ahead and try Nave. I have no clue what to do. Let's see here. Instructions. How to play. Make poker hands by selecting five neighboring cards. Okay. Number cards score their face values. Jack score 11, 12, 13, and 14. Okay. Selecting flipped cards increases the multiplier. So, you get a high card pair okay this is standard poker stuff the better your hand the higher the multiplier all right <clears throat> what is my indie games let's play and review it is a 20 to 30 minute video that I go through and I play a game for the first time I've never played the game before and I give my initial impressions and any bugs or issues that come up then I give a rating at the end of one to five stars and half star increments and it doesn't matter about the graphics or the technical aspects the sound music whether it's windowed or not or anything what I actually do is I grade on fun on replayability and on recommendation am I having fun would I play it again and uh, would I recommend it to others I have already come across two different things number one the game crashes and then restarts after the first time you run it. This is, I think, a beta or alpha version for Windows, so that could be an issue there. Two, there are no options on the main screen so that I can turn volume and everything down right here. Um, so those are two main things. And three, I don't know if you can go full screen or not. I'm going to leave it windowed since uh, 1280 by 720 is what I want anyway. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to go with Nave. Easy. Now I'm clicking on that and nothing happened. It didn't depress or anything like that. When you create buttons, make sure there's interaction and they depress and everything. Alright, now we have to choose five neighboring cards. We have a six, a jack, seven, seven, and eight. So it's a pair jack high. A king, five, four, king. Um, that's a king pair with a multiplier, possibly. Ace high with double queens. Um, let's see here. That's nothing. That could be something. I think I'm going to take this one. So what do we do? All right, I just clicked him, nothing's happening, keyboard's not doing anything, um, let's see here, anti, I'm clicking and nothing's happening, alright, so I can't drag and move it, aha, see here, move it like that, nothing's happening, There we go. So I just selected it crossed. You need to put that in your instructions so people know how to select a crossed. So, mm hmm. It looks like I, I won some. So this is two pair, five high. We don't know what's in here. I think it's just queen high with some multipliers, one pair. And this is all stuff. So I'm going to take this two pair. Oh, we're going to take that, a pair ace high, a three of a kind. Let's take that again. Three of a kind, nice. I guess this acts as um, a wild. If that's the case, pachow. Oh, okay. What about this one here? Yep, it's a high card as I thought. 
it's odd you can't really tell what this is so let's see here four queen jack well we got a pair one pair yeah hmm a six six three nine four let's see if we can do it this way we can that makes a whole buttload of difference which means we can go through and say all right go up through here and then make this a stronger hand this way so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do this one pair all right um, I guess you go through an entire deck of cards we'll see if that's true Ooh. A straight. All right, and we will go up this way. That was just a high card. I was hoping to get a king here. See, so oh, and you can go diagonally too. One pair. Uh, I messed that one up. All right. So. And that's interesting. You can, you can do different things. That makes things a lot more interesting than just going up, down, and left, and right, and diagonally. So if I wanted like these three threes, like this, and then I wanted to go like that, that's a three of a kind. Oh, four of a kind. So that, that's increasing my score tremendously. I wonder if I can get a flush. So if I go like this, then this, then that, and that. Nope, just a pair. Hmm. They have to be adjacent though. So this, this. No, 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 no. Okay. Let's do this. Just one pair. And then we can go like this. Um, let's see here. That's 2, 5, 10. Yeah, we'll, we'll grab it this way. That should be a flush. Yep. And then 6, 4, 3. If we only had that 5 and the 2 and the ace there. But we can do this. Another flush. Um, <laughs> up there. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing, but it seems to be an interesting puzzle game. I'm going to do it this way. Right here to here to here to there to there. Only three of a kind. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, there's a king. They're not really together, but we can go like this. Get three of a kind queens. We'll do it like that. Oh, a full house. That was nice. So we have an ace, an ace, a three, and a three. Hmm. We're going to go like this. Just a high card, alright. Now here's an ace and an ace. Okay, we can get four of a kind. Aces. Hmm. What else can we do here? How about we go ahead and try for that and see what we get. Ah, two pair. Okay. Um, I'm not really good at poker, but this is a pretty interesting game. I think it's kind of silly, but my mom would probably like this because she likes uh, games like this. And I'm just going to go straight across like that. High card. Burf. Yes, I said burf. Sweet. 
nine, three, seven. Can't get to the eight, so. Hmm. Two, three, four. Ace, two, four, three. If there was a five nearby. But there's a four, six, seven, and five. That does nothing for us. So we need an eight. Oh, let's try it like this. A high card. That was a king in there. Oh, yuck. Oh, well. Um, <laughs> we have quite a bit of time left to play this. Ace, two, four. No, nope. ace, two, four, three, five. We get a straight anyway. So we have an eight, a ten, a nine. This could be a jack. So we'll do this. Yeah! Victory. I wonder what the victory condition was. Um, I just kept playing. Let's try it again. Let's see if we can figure out what it is. I don't see anywhere here that indicates that the end of the game is nearby. So it might be a number of rows. We'll have to take a look at the instructions. Now that we know the game a little bit better, let's see what we can do here. Oh, just a high card on that. Oh, an ace is better than nothing, right? Um, we can get one, two, three, four, five. We got a pair. Okay. Let's get ourselves a flush. We have two sevens. Mm -hmm. Ooh, we can go like this. Get three of a kind. Three of a kind is always nice. Um, let's see here. Ace, king, something, queen, jack. Oh, just a high card. All right. Hmm. Well, there's three of a kind here. We can't get a full house, but maybe we need to drop this right here so if we do this and sacrifice those cards let them fall down we can go eight nine eight eight nine and get a full house now we're starting to do it we manipulate the board to get what we want so eight nine ten well, there's two aces and a two let's bring these guys out of the way. Get a high card. But hopefully we get an ace or a two. We don't. Let's take it. Stab it at two pair. Okay. Um, let's do this. Two tens. All right. So we have a ten and a queen. If we do this here, it's a high card, but we have a jack, a queen, a nine, a king. We need to get that ten down here. So what we're going to do is this, and then we can go ahead and uh, if we had a blue king, that would be awesome. We go king, nine, queen, jack, ten for straight. All right, and um, let's see here. Well, there's a black jack. Let's see about getting this guy down. I don't know how many spaces we have left. But let's get this flush here. All right. 
there's a three, a five, a two, and a four. There's no six. Oh, there is a six right here. For straight. All right. Now we've got the jack. I may have messed that up. <laughs> oh, man. So that happened. Let's get three of a kind kings. Alrighty. Oh, we've actually got a higher score already. Um, can we increase the, the ante? Nope, doesn't look like it. Alright, we've got a 9 and a 9. 9, jack, 10, queen. Let's get that king down here. By getting this full house. Alright. So, 9, 10, jack, queen, king. We get a straight. Uh, we've got... We can get two pair. Nine seven ten no nine ten queen no two two three let's just do this let's get a flush all right and then we'll get those guys out of the way just got a high card but we're getting multipliers for getting those, so that's awesome. Um, <laughs> this is a four. No, we just got a pair. All right. Now we need to somehow get a nine in here. Oh, four of a kind. Four of a kind is always good. All right. And we'll do it this way. Three of a kind, yeah. Excellent. I think this is... Uh, Pretty interesting game. So we go jack, 10 jack, 15. Hopefully a flush. Yeah, we got a flush. Had we got a 9, that would have been a um, pretty good flush. So it looks like we're not going to connect these guys up. So. Yeah, we need to have that king, that uh, 10 closer. So we're going to go 9, 10, jack, queen, king. That's just a high card. Uh, so we have three jacks and a multiplier. Three of a kind, okay. And this might be the last hand. Let's just go ahead and grab that. Got a flush, awesome. It was not the last hand. So three, three, queen, can't do it that way. So we're going to do it this way. Grab that ten. And I just threw the kind. Huh. Get this flush. And then this flush. There wasn't a flush. So it was a victory. Okay, going back to the main menu, let's take a look at those instructions again. How to play, make poke burns, five neighboring cards, it doesn't say how to select them. They score the face value, yep, yep, yep. Okay, and there's the royal flush, um, there's a straight flush, then full house four of a kind, a flush, a straight, two pair, three of a kind, pair, and a high card. Okay. And we're back to the main menu. So, 
overall the graphics aren't bad at all I think uh, it works really well and it's very very well set up for a touch device and this is uh, an Android game that you can get on Google Play um, I think uh, overall the idea of selecting neighboring cards is pretty cool putting it in a grid like that it's sort of like bejeweled plus poker hands which makes it interesting in and of itself I do not like the fact that there is no options on the screen to turn on or off music or turn them down that might be something that's awesome for both the uh, um, touch enabled version that's on uh, tablets and for PCs. I would also highly suggest that you take a look at your code and see what's going on with launching the game because it will launch and then it will die and then we'll um, bring up the um, create a game dialogue again where you can choose the resolution and everything and then it will immediately um, and then it'll go into the game it's it's rather odd it's it's almost like it's on a timer because one time I set up I just ran the game and when I went to select my resolution and everything that dialogue died and then came back and then I was able to go into the game straight on but when it comes up with everything I want and I click play it opens up the window and then immediately dies again and go reloads the uh, selection dialogue and then it works after that so there might be some sort of timer thing going on there I'm not sure what you might want to take a look at it um, it might be a unity thing but I, I don't know maybe debug code I don't know so I did not play on knight or king because well trying to figure out the game ah, ha ha victory what the heck does victory mean how many times do you go through the deck of cards at the uh, excuse me the knight or the knave or whoever's done in the lower left as he's dealing out cards how many cards are in there you don't know um, you should put in some sort of counter or progress to know how many cards you have left in the deck so that people can plan their moves accordingly because um, as it stands I don't know how many rounds you go through it looked like it was maybe 10 um, I do not know I do like the fact that you have multiple colors of cards instead of just red and black um, you have green and blue there I think and I can only guess that you get more colors as you go up but uh, according to the instructions it doesn't look like you do so you've got black green blue and red so there's four colors Is that French style cards I don't know um, and it looks like you can sign in with Google Plus that it doesn't work here so this is definitely in a beta state um, and you have some work to be done but overall I think it's a it's a pretty fun game and um, for a puzzler kind of poker game, I would give it a 4 out of 5 stars for fun and replayability. And for people who like these kinds of games, um, I definitely would recommend this game. So, that's it for this IGLPNR. And uh, until next time, enjoy playing games. Enjoy playing Poker Kingdoms. Please like, favorite, and subscribe this video. Um, and subscribe because it, it lets me know that you're enjoying the content that you're getting you want to see more and well it gives me an idea of what to put back out there if you would please take a moment and check out my patreon page you'll find a link in the description below if you happen to become a patron please note that half of all my net proceeds and that's the total proceeds from patreon minus fees and taxes half of that goes to charity and the other half goes to getting games better equipment putting out more content um, the more people support me on patreon the more I can do and the more rewards you get as always this is Excalibur and I'm out